Hey guys, this is What If here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Championship Mode for race 24 of 24. We're going to Homestead, the final race. And uh, nothing's too much at stake. We just have to kind of try to you know, get another win for our, you know, to boost our you know, ego. So, yeah, here's the standing so far. And it's not too bad. You now we're just, we're just kind of curious, you know, how this is all going to finally shake up. Will Allgaier finally be ahead of Tift in the standings once and for all? I don't know. But, yeah, so here we go. Uh, championship settings, 25% uh, race length, out of hard difficulty. Tire and fuel consumption at times three. What was that times two? Oh, I think it was doing some, like, s like races off camera. And I don't know why it was... I guess I bumped it down at times two, so there we go. It's back to normal. Strict yellows, everything's the same, so. Yep, save changes, so. Let's just get qualifying underway, show you what we're gonna be using for the setup, and we'll go from there. Here's our custom setup, really nothing too different from normal. The only difference is uh, the wedge, instead of it being at 45, it's just at 45.5, and our right rear is at 32, and fourth gear is at 90. Which is normally weird because it's always defaults always at one, so I don't know. But let's just get qualifying underway and hope we start on the inside line. Off turn four, we'll see what this lap time is. Felt good to me. Okay, 19th, all right. And we're on the inside line, so very seldomly are we up in the top half of the field, so that's cute. I saw Jeff Green like 20th, so that's, that's awesome. And who got the pole? Daniel Suarez. Okay, so let's get this race underway. I was so excited, I just slightly nudged the controller into my desk. Why? I d <laughs> okay. Here we go, the race is about to begin, get ready. And the green flag's out. And how many laps do we have in this race? We've got 20 in the fuel and 50 laps, okay. I think it was about the same as Kansas. I think it's the exact same as Kansas. Which would make sense, because that is a mile and a half as well, so... Maybe I shouldn't have been, like, so surprised. <laughs> so it's going to be a two-stop race, just like Kansas, no matter what. So there's no discrepancy of which one's, like, you know, we're going to really be out of, you know, short on fuel, or we can cheese another uh, less stop, whatever. I can. So already within the first lap, we moved up into 15th, so we already gained, like, four spots. They all kind of run next to the high line and we can really kind of take advantage of that and just kind of you know stay on the bottom as we're just inside the top 10 we're going to get almost by Brad Kozlowski and now we're going to get by Barry Blue Bad Kozlowski <laughs> Jesus Christ oh my god and there we go in the fifth all right so ooh Sadler hello okay so just go in turn one. Just, just try to keep it to the bottom. Into third. Gonna clear. Not really clear, but we're side by side with Reed. Try to get by him. Is that Brandon Poole in the lead now? That is certainly a rather interesting person to be leading this race. And to the inside of Allgaier. Look at this. Allgaier might try to finish better than Tipton in the standings. I didn't I mean it's just been one almighty battle to see who can finish ahead of who because it's just been close hey, hey there we go we get the lead so well, let's, let's chill well I hit the outside wall I mean that's certainly interesting I mean that's really the only thing that's happened since I took the lead so <laughs> I wasn't trying to do that on purpose I swear it just it just happened <laughs> Oh my god, I, I was looking at that and it's like, is that all guy with like a tire going down or an engine blowing or, it looked like it, so, yep, well, I guess tips better than all guy, I just, I would have never thought, you know, just apparently this game just thinks, <laughs> so, I'm so, oh man. I'm heading down Pirro this lap, so really nothing much to say in that first 
really green flag stint since I took the lead. There we go. So two cans of fuel, four tires, and we'll be out in the way. I don't know why our AI driver is to the inside that damn much because he, he should know that you know people are leaving pit road. But <laughs> who cares? Who cares? A 16 second stop with about a couple of tents to repair damage and we're out and away we'll see where we sleep how it should be quite obviously first some of the states is, I don't know where I was gonna go with that but how big of our lead is it now three seconds over about oh, tight are we are we gonna lose that much time I think I think we are wow we're about like six seven seconds up the road so yeah, we certainly lost ground. That's yeah, that's unfortunate, but I mean, we still have the lead. Just our our gap is not as big as it once was. Twenty laps to go. Um, I, I don't know what to really update you guys on. It's just still leading, I'm pulling away. We're lapping some cars. It's not really super crazy. Well, I, mean, I hit Kennedy. Is, is that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> but for the yeah, it's just like there's just really hasn't been. Uh, too much to, to kind of go into. Somebody's down pit road again. Looks like Casey Kane. So, well, I don't know. Well, all right. Well, I don't know. We'll be, we'll be pitting in the next uh, 11 laps or 10. So, I guess we'll just wait till then. Oh, my God. Well, it's not that bad. We're going to be paying the next couple laps anyways. Um, we're going to have to go with four tires and maybe just half a can, uh, one can of fuel. Because it's like 19 and cut that in half is like eight. So we'll be good. So we're going to pit. One can, four tires. That should be good. I swear, if I lose spots because of that, it's going to be just dumb. And it is dumb. Jeff Green six though. So that's awesome. And oh my god, we have Jeremy Clemens up here. The racist. So... Here we go. Let's get this race back underway. Um, eight to go, and it looks like a few drivers might have began start like began to start taking their pit stops or something because like a, you know Gon's up here, Reed's up here, and I don't think they were up here earlier. So as well as a net. So I guess that's certainly interesting. We do get out to a not so amazing. I mean, it was a good start, but Reed just kind of just flat out just drove right by me. Try to pass him here. We got what under ten to go, I think. Yep. So look at look at this. Reed's putting up a fight. That's the first time I've been challenged all race long. So seven to go, and it won't last for that much longer as we just just completely drive right by him. So you tried Reed, but it's my house. Two laps to go on the race. Still holding the lead. Also, this is probably going to be the, the last race I'll be doing with the attempt to face cam because as we get to the Cup Series, the races are going to be much longer and there's really no way I can really, you know, uh, use it and just kind of do it in the race. So, um, the NASCAR way, it's a little bit different because I can always kind of, you know, the races are short enough and I can always just kind of um, resync everything or redo everything up again when I do the second race so it's easier. But I can't really do that in the middle of the race because, I mean, I don't like to really pause the game unless, you know, like a Windows update, something comes up and I have to absolutely uh, switch that off. But, yeah. So we're on the white flag. We're, we're just chilling, relaxing. Absolutely just crushed the field. I mean, we lapped up to like 20 seconds before we, uh, the caution came out. So off of turn number four, we're going to win the title and the race. Mike Harmon, the biggest badass ever. Did you see what I did there? I'm, I know I'm pretty clever. Let's look at the finishing results. We get the win, and Jeff Green is nowhere to be found in the top 10. He dropped down to 16th. And Allgaier got 25th, so he managed to rally from 40th from a blown tire to 25th, which is good. But Tift got 17th, so I think, I think... He beat him out in the standings by a few points. So, good. Here's the final standings. We got Byron second, Suarez third, Ty Dillon, 
by Eric Jones, Brangon, Cook, Sadler, Hemrick, and Clemens in the top 10. And there we go, we are the season champion. <laughs> and good job, Mike Carmen. I He won, what, 11 out of the 24 races? We almost won half the schedule. And yep, just like how it was when we won our first race, nothing's changed. Um, he just, he's just, just a badass. Just, what else more, what else more do I have to say? With that out of the way, the season's over and we've, you know, won the title, so. And we get an achievement, unstoppable. Okay, one Xfinity Series Championship. Um, I think I already did that in career, but sure. Okay, Journeyman, all right. I completed a full NASCAR Xfinity. No, I didn't. I didn't com that's not a full Xfinity Series season game. Okay, um, yeah. So, it's the final result. Oh, wow, all got our B tiff by like seven points, so good job. And Jeff Green's ahead of uh, Michael Annette. And here's the overall standings, and we have Stephen Light in last place. So that was pretty much championship season mode for the Xfinity Series under the, uh, I guess he I guess you can consider it like the Winston Cup format or just a, a full race season where no, there's no chase or anything. So, yeah, we did pretty good. So, now our next journey is the Cup Series, and I have no clue who I'm going to pick or how to go from that. So, yeah. Really nothing much more to say. Um, just, just, I guess next week we'll start the Cup Series. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Downward Elves, Roland Hopper, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Michael Harrison, Day 500, Champ 15, Jeff Gordon, Zach Rogers, Racing News Now, Alan Gray, Matthew Murray, Stephen Willie, and ATF Gaming for their donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your support and contribution to the channel. It does mean a lot to me, and I can't thank you guys enough for your help. I'll see you all for uh, the Cup Series. I'll, again, I don't know who I'm going to pick. I'll figure that out. I don't know who to go with, but... Just also, uh, just one more, another thing to add, I have to also thank uh, I'm Just uh, the Goat for giving me the season pass, which includes all the, the DLC paint schemes and whatnot. That's really why the series exists, so I have to thank him so damn much for that, and I appreciate it, and yeah, it's just awesome. So I'll see you all next week, and we'll see what happens there. So um, I'll see you all later. I keep saying that word a lot. And as always... Have a good day, everyone.